All right, St. Joseph, St. Joseph Central head coach Shannon Lewis, players Michelle Johnson, Michael Johnson, and Griffin Dempsey. All of St. Joseph. Coach, some comments about his afternoon's ball game. Well, I think you uh, have to give Tucker County some credit. They came out uh, with a lot of intensity, um, you know, and got after us uh, for a while. And um, you know, but we were able to put some pressure on them and uh, and get into you know things we like to do. Uh, you know, we didn't get in early foul trouble, so it allowed us to extend a little bit and get after them. But yeah, you know, I told the coach before the game. I saw things the other night that I really liked. Uh, I thought they were well coached. You know, they, they do a lot of things right defensively, and that gave us some problems early on. Um, we, you know, we had to adjust a little bit. But, you know, I thought they were a well-coached team, and I thought they played hard, and you got to give them a lot of credit. But like I said, these kids right here stepped up, and we started making shots and turning them over and, and do what we do. Question? Coach, can you talk a little bit about what they were doing earlier in the, early in the game to kind of keep it close? Well, you know, our philosophy is we – we're going to play two, three early. We're going to, um, you know, play, play a little bit of more of a set style, and you know that gives teams an opportunity to, 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 to kind of get, get a feel of the game. And, and the only reason we do that is because, because of our depth. You know, we, we don't play a lot of kids, and it costs a foul, and because of foul trouble. So, usually at some point in the game, whether it's second quarter or third quarter, it's according to the competition we're playing and how the game's going is when we're going to step up and really get after it and, you know, apply pressure and stuff. So, you know, we didn't want early foul trouble, so we allowed them to probably do some stuff that they're a little better at, and then we, you know, turned them into a, you know, a 94-foot game up and down and pressing and stuff, and, and obviously we were we were a lot better at that than, than they were. <coughs> Michael, what do you see happening to teams when you guys start pressing? Um, we're really athletic, so... All five of us can pressure the ball. We turn teams over easily, so it's not going to be easy for them once we're up in their face. What's teams' reactions to all that? Usually it's not very good because they don't know what to do. Like, we're in their face and they don't have anywhere to go. And we're one pass away waiting for the ball to be rotated and for us to get a steal. <clears throat> you know, I, I got a little upset on a couple. We had her, we had her open for a couple kickouts and – and I tried to run a couple sets for her, but, you know, and, and I think we may have got one off that and then got some and, and when we turned them over a couple times. But I wanted to get her some looks, and, and we talked about that in the second quarter a little bit, and fortunately it worked out because, you know, you get two or three threes in a row, it, it gets get you in a good run there. Any more questions? Comments? Cheryl, what was it going to take for a team to beat you guys? What would a team have to do? Well, you know, I, we'll talk about tomorrow about staying out of foul trouble, and and obviously St. Mary's has that size, so so that you know they they could hurt us on rebounding and, and you know getting it into their bigs tomorrow. So um, you know it, it's not going to be no easy matchup. We know that um, they, they they do a lot of things well, um, but you know like you said there there's games that we've played this year where we can't press at all. Teams are way more athletic than us that we've won. There's teams that we've played that are bigger than us like we'll see tomorrow, and we won. So our schedule has got us ready for tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I think uh, there'll be some uh, point two out of these girls, and I think they'll be ready.